We want to take a closer look now at the Georgia Senate race, one of those key races that could decide which party controls the Senate. Nicole Killian reports from Athens. Saturdays in the South are meant for college football. But it was Friday's debate featuring University of Georgia legend Herschel Walker that was the talk of the tailgate. It kind of reaffirmed what I already thought, that uh, Herschel Walker is not fit for office. In what way? Uh, doesn't know policy, um, has clearly fabricated parts of his life. Herschel Walker has a good heart, you know, and uh, we believe in, you know, <laughs> A lot of similar things. In what might have been their only face-to-face -face debate Friday night, the GOP challenger and Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock made their cases to Georgia voters. This race is about who's ready to represent Georgia. He's for Joe Biden. I'm for Georgia. Dogged by recent reports that he allegedly paid for a woman's abortion, Walker issued another denial. And that's a lie. My opponent has a problem with the truth. But on abortion rights, he appeared to soften his stance, backing off a total ban. I support the Georgia heartbeat bill because that's the bill of the people from Governor Kim. And I said that has exceptions in it. Walker repeatedly tied Warnock to President Biden. Can you tell me why he voted with Joe Biden 96% of the time if he was standing for Georgia? When asked about their respective standard bearers in 2024, Walker eagerly endorsed former President Trump, but Warnock was noncommittal. Would you support President Biden running for a second term in 2024? I've not spent a minute thinking about what politicians should run for what in 2024. But it was this exchange that went viral as the candidates clashed over law enforcement and Walker's claims of being a police officer. I've never pretended to be a police officer. <laughs> and, and, and I've never, I've never threatened a shootout with the police. I am work with many police officers. Now, you have a prop. Yes. That is not allowed, sir. A walker aide tells CBS News that was an honorary badge from a local department, but in a sign of just how critical the stakes are here, former President Obama is set to campaign in Georgia later this month, one of many stops he'll make before the midterms. No word if President Biden or former President Trump will also come down here. Margaret? Nicole, we will be watching. Thank you.